Chapter 4 Air Our Earth is surrounded by a huge blanket of air called atmosphere. All living beings on this Earth depend on the atmosphere for their survival. It provides us the air we breathe and protects us from the harmful effects of the sun's rays. Without this blanket of protection, we would be baked alive by the heat of the sun during day and get frozen during night. So, it is this mass of air that has made the temperature on the earth livable. Composition of the atmosphere Do you know that the air we take in while breathing is actually a mixture of many gases? Nitrogen and oxygen are two gases which make up the bulk of the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide, helium, ozone, argon and hydrogen are found in lesser quantities. Apart from these gases, tiny dust particles are also present in the air. The pie chart gives you the percentage of different constituents of air. Nitrogen is the most plentiful gas in the air. When we inhale, we take some amount of nitrogen into our lungs and exhale it. But plants need nitrogen for their survival. They cannot take nitrogen directly from the air. Bacteria that live in the soil and roots of some plants take nitrogen from the air and change its form so that plants can use it. Oxygen is the second most plentiful gas in the air. Humans and animals take oxygen from the air as they breathe. Green plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis. In this way, oxygen content in the air remains constant. If we cut trees, then this balance gets disturbed. अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट गैस ग्रीन प्लांट्स यूज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड टू मेक देयर फूड एंड रिलीज ऑक्सीजन ह्यूमंस और एनिमल्स रिलीज कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड द अमाउंट ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज्ड बाय ह्यूमंस और एनिमल्स सीम्स टू बी इक्वल to the amount used by the plants which make a perfect balance however the balance is upset by burning of fuels such as coal and oil they add billions of tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year as a result the increased volume of carbon dioxide is affecting the earth's weather and climate and we are all feeling it Do you know carbon dioxide released in the atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect by trapping the heat radiated from the earth it is therefore called a greenhouse gas and without it the earth would have been too cold to live in however when its level in the atmosphere increases due to factory smoke or car fumes the heat retained increases the temperature of the earth this is called global warming the rise in temperature causes the snow in coldest part of the world to melt as a result the sea level rises causing floods in the coastal areas there may be drastic changes in the climate of a place leading to extinction of some plants and animals in the long run so now you understand why we are all against global warming agar aap apne syllabus ke sare chapters is format mein dekhna chahte hain to hame description mein diye gaye number par call kare do you know 
when air is heated it expands becomes lighter and goes up cold air is denser and heavy that is why it tends to sink down when hot air rises cold air from surrounding area rushes there to fill in the gap that is how air circulation takes place is global warming a serious issue in today's world structure of the atmosphere our atmosphere is divided into five layers starting from the earth's surface these are troposphere stratosphere mesosphere thermosphere and exosphere now let us discuss these layers first is troposphere this layer is the most important layer of the atmosphere its average height is 13 kilometers the air we breathe exists here almost all the weather phenomena like rainfall fog and hailstorm occur in this layer अगर आप अपने सिलेबस के सारे चैप्टर्स इस फॉर्मेट में देखना चाहते हैं तो हमें डिस्क्रिप्शन में दिए गए नंबर पर कॉल करें ऐसे ही और एडुकेशनल वीडियोस देखने के लिए हमारे चैनल होम रिवाइज को सब्सक्राइब करें